All right, let's start building the underside. So we got the wiring coming through for the added post lights. Now, next thing I want to do is kind of place a lot of larger items and things like that, that I feel like, not everywhere, but just where I feel like I want to make sure nothing's going to conflict with these lights coming through here. So first thing I'll do is just put the flippers on here. That'll be a lot easier to line up with nothing on here. Yeah, you could just put them in this hole and say that's good, but I don't like to do that because then they wind up not being centered, so I'll center them. I'm gonna wrap these bushings with some tape and fish them in the holes, and then that way I know they're centered and then I'll take them back out. All right, that's good and centered. And when I do that, it becomes obvious to me that the dimples aren't any good. Well, I wouldn't say they're no good, but they're not, they're not accurate. And just put enough screws in there for a minute to mark it. I'll take this out and then I'll really screw it down officially. I need to rework this thing, but I have washed it and that's about it. All right, got the switch harness laid out. I've redecaled the targets. I'm gonna get rid of all these daisy chains. I started mapping out some of the uh, wire looms. I'm gonna use these plastic looms on the bottom here, or I guess it's technically the top of the play field, but what I noticed when I took it apart is these were really far bent back, and then I looked at my um, reference material from the other one I did, and they were bent back, so I'm thinking these plastic ones are going to be a better choice for right here, and then we'll go with the traditional metal ones from there. But most of this stuff's kind of laid out. These are ready to screw down. I just need to replace all these daisy chains. That's a green and black strand. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six right there. I've cut some of these things away. I'm gonna replace all the switches. I don't trust any of these rollover switches. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this target bank yet. I can drill, I can take brand new targets and drill them apart and drill this plate apart and rivet all this together. But that's probably a whole lot of bother for nothing. These look pretty good. I'll try polishing them up as long as they look good. I think we're all right there. And um, I don't know, we're just gonna work, right? It's all we can do. I'm gonna start right here with these targets. Get a lot of green and black wire. Okay, I have removed these jumper wires. I'm gonna put color correct daisy chain in place here. And also clean up the way these targets. So one of the things I really don't like about the way they wire things is they'll have a lot of wire and a little wire. And then you got this kind of, I want everything to come out nice and straight. So 
I'll just de-side of this mess. I'm not gonna put these on a plug, that's not needed. Just gonna clean everything up. I'm not even gonna screw these down quite yet. Okay, so I got way more of this portion of the blue and white wire than I need, so get them even, trim it. Got that threaded in there. There's one. Thread this. All right, let's make a plug for this thing. I'm gonna desolder all this and make a plug. It'll be a lot easier to deal with. All right, check that out. We got this. Boom. Polish these rivets real quick. I think this is good. All right, now we need to replace these jet bumper switches. switches. Let's do the last thing we got. All right, here's the last thing we got to do, and that's reinvent this trough area. Let's go over where we're at today, or at least where we start. So yesterday I put the switch harness down and basically reinvented that entire thing and rewired everything. And it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot more serviceable now than it was. There's the lamp harness, just kind of roughed in place. And uh, I'm gonna go over what I look to accomplish with this. And then once I get it done, I'll, I'll go over it in detail. But what I really wanna do more than anything is get rid of all the generic jumpers so if you look at this GI strand right here you got green and then you got white with green and then it's jumped with this yellow wire so I'll replace all that with the correct color wires as they jump because the reason that's so confusing especially on one of these is when you start getting all these lamp sockets really close to one another it can be hard to tell what's what and what's where I mean you're blowing fuses is it the Green strand is blowing okay, well that's fine. So is it this socket or is it that socket? It gets lost, it gets really jumbled together when you can't look at each socket and say, yes, that is 
on the green strand or no, this is on the yellow strand. You can't tell. So I wanna make sure that's easy to identify. Another thing that you run into, particularly with these angled sockets is they're no good. This one right here just spins very freely. And usually uh, when they spin freely like that, they, they don't work uh, reliably. You can see somebody's kind of bent this. That's usually an indicator that it's not making a good contact. So uh, just recently they started uh, selling these again, which is good. These were much needed. So I'll be replacing all of those at a minimum. And uh, that's pretty much what I look to accomplish. So this is kind of where I'm starting out. You can look and you can see a lot of generic daisy chains back there. And it's just kind of a mess. So I just wanna clean it up, tighten it up, make it easy to identify, and just know, you know that I've been through each and every socket, each and, other, each and every feature, and then I know that it's good. And that's a peace of mind for me, and that way if I do have any problems, I know it's not that. All right, I'm gonna do that, and we'll look at it later. I'm going to come on here real quick and just give an example. Here's one section done. Everything is now color correct and neatly wired. The jet bumper coils in place. And I think that's going to pretty much settle everything, right? Until we get all the way around. That's going to take a while. But that's the goal. All right, now moving on to this side. Oh, this thing's complicated. So all these are individually controlled GI lamps and man, it's just a mess. They just got, that's the order of it is so random, but it's also important. So I'm slowly mapping this out and when I get it done, I'll show it. Here's my reference material here. And as you can see, even with the reference material, all these yellow wires, it just becomes kind of a blur. You can trace them a little bit, but they're real specific. And so uh, I'll continue on with this process until I can get this section done. I think once I get this section done, I'll be good. All right, I got that section done properly. Everything is fished into the original harness and coming out of there. So instead of just jump, 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 it's in, out, in, out, in, out, throughout the harness. Everything's, of course, color correct and easy to identify. All right, so now we just work our way on down here. Got some kind of little weird tie together wires here. I'm not sure what that's about, but I'll figure it out. And the GI, I just kind of map this out as I go. Here's the lamp harness. That's all done. Got the lamp boards in place. I had to extend some things. The way they pulled these wires on this particular game, or yeah, you know, this title. Not so good. Everything's neatly wired up to this point. I have those um, lighted star posts tapped in different places. I think we're ready to throw the solenoid harness on here. They stretched some of the stuff so far out like this and then this is coming way over here really I know it needs to be kind of low profile because there's like a under play field ramp or yeah, under play field ramp, but even at that though, it still seems like a little bit of a stretch. So but whatever I gotta do, I think for that reason, I'll probably start this way and go that way. All right, I'm gonna do that and I'll, I'll pick it up later. That's it, I got this thing wired and I'm ready to put it in the cabinet. We'll look at it real quick and then we'll drop it in the cabinet. Turn it on, see what works, see what doesn't. Hopefully everything, you never know. All right, let's 
throw it in the cabinet and see what happens. We've got the play field in our Doctor Who cabinet. I got some protectors running on the sides. Hopefully that'll save those, those blades uh, during this process of lifting and lowering it a hundred times and picking it up and moving it out of position. But we'll go ahead and turn it on, see how it does. like it works initially you know all the stuff is driven off of the power supply like that motorized head I saw that move um, the lighted speaker grills and just the lighted speaker or flipper buttons you can see those kind of glowing from inside the cabinet the post lights those are cool I'm happy with those that that turned out to be a good idea the way they chase with the GI that looks good Got some pretty bright lights in the jet bumpers. And now, of course, we have a decent speaker panel with the wooden panel and the characters lighting up as they should. So that looks good. All right. So we'll run some checks on it real quick, make sure everything's kind of working. And then we'll start worrying about what it's going to take to finish it. Check our switches. It's got these kind of sitting on here for right now. Good, I think that's all the switches. Everything seems to work there. Let's check the start. There we go. Let's check the solenoids. Those are looking good. We'll just go with all the lamps and flashes. Yeah, that thing on the top's moving with that, so I guess that's driven off the flashers. All right, I'll figure out how to center that thing, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, looks like all the lamps and flashes are working. Sure about that. All right, that's pretty much everything I need to see. to finish this up. All right. Cool. Everything's looking good. And so the next move will be, I'll clean up my mess in here, I'll kind of get reorganized and we'll start worrying about the top side stuff. So that's gonna be the mini play field. Um, that's gonna be a chore. We'll get into that. Uh, the ramps, the plastics, all that kind of stuff. And, and we'll be done 